In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make a free website using Weebly.com. I've used a lot of different ways to make websites, and this is by far the easiest, and it has a great interface. It's just fantastic. So here we go. So you're going to go to login, and you're going to use Google Plus or Facebook is fine, or you can sign up for an account through Weebly. I have a Google account, so I'll use that. And I'll just select the right one. Here we go. Uh, it's going to ask you, do you want to link the accounts? Yep, I do. So I had to allow. Okay, log in here. All right. Um, I already have uh, one on here, so I'm going to build another one. So I'm going to drop this down and hit Add Site. Yours might be blank, and it might have a Start button instead. We're going to be making a site today, which is very similar to a blog or store. And it's going to ask me to choose a theme. This is actually not that important right now, uh, so don't worry too much about it. I'm just going to choose, I'll choose this one right here. The theme can be changed later on, and it'll contain the same content, so don't worry too much about it. Now, the subdomain, I can just call it whatever I want. I'm going to make this more of like a portfolio, but it really will be the same as any type of website you make. So I'm going to call this Mr. Smith. Oop, it's taken. <laughs> Mr. John Smith 12. Sure, okay. Mr. John Smith 12.weebly.com. Now, if I wanted just Mr. John Smith.com, that would cost money or I can link it to another domain. But basically, these two options cost money, and this one's free. What's great is you can start it here, and if, as your business grows or your portfolio seems to be more important, you can actually upgrade and pay for, to get rid of that Weebly.com in the name. So um, here's what it looks like starting out. Um, it just gives me automatically three different pages, and I can just start typing stuff in there. So instead of my site, um, maybe I'm going to um, change, change this to and basically just highlight it. Maybe I'll put Mr. Smith's portfolio. All right. Um, these pages right here, I can't actually change um, the names of these unless I will go over here to pages. And right here, I can then select that. So instead of, I can leave that one as home, let's say, but, uh, or I can just change that. All, oops, all about me. <laughs> And if I hit this little back button, it'll actually make the change right here now. Now I can make this the landing page. Now right now it's on, do I want a tall header, short header, no header, and landing. So right now this is on a tall header, right? I can change this to a short header, so it's gonna shrink this image here. Or if I want, I can just hit this little, um, little gear right here and it allows me to cho choose different ones as well. Maybe I'll choose landing page. So it'll change the overall look, okay. So, um, again, all this is clickable. I can just highlight words if I want. I can make it bigger or smaller. Um, I can change the, the color of the text. I can underline, all that good stuff, all right? Um, let's go to this About page, though. So if you just click on the About page here, it'll allow you to see that page. Uh, right now I'm in the Pages, and so I can go back. If I'm done with these three pages, I can also go back to Build, and it's going to give me all of those different elements I'm going to use to make this um, basically change this and add the content that I want. Um, for this one, I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to do no header. This going to be something simple like this. Um, and I'm going to drag elements. In. It does have this new feature where you should choose layouts. And it basically shows you different columns and things like that. Let's say I want to use this one right here. I can choose it. Um, now, what's great about this, it gives me a nice little layout. All right. But I want to show you how to change this all. So I'm going to delete a few of these things. Like, let's say I didn't have a text box or a title, all right? So what happens that image goes really large right that, like that real quick. I can just resize that up and down. When I select the image, it brings up all these different options. I'm gonna turn Lightbox on, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a little bit. Um, I can link to it, so let's say if I click on the image, I can have it go to you know, www.shares.com or <laughs> whatever, and I can have it open to a new window, so when someone clicks on it, it doesn't go away from your page, it just opens up a separate tab. Um, I can also have it go to a, a page that, that I've already created on my website. I could have it go to a file. I could upload a file to there um, or even an email address. And if I do email address, then I want to have that be like uh, john at hotmail.com. Okay. Um, but let's go back to the website. I'm going to keep it on there. Hit save. Now this image is really large. So I'm just going to grab the bottom here and shrink it down some. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I do want that text back over there. So I'm going to grab a title. I'm going to put that right at the top here. 
So he wants to be next to it. So I'm going to, you see a little line right here or down here? That's basically saying, how do you want to line that? So I'm going to put it all the way to the right here. And it's going to scooch it over. So I can just move this thing left and right, and it'll move the image for me. So I could say um, about me, uh, things I like. <laughs> and then I can also put a text box in there. And again, don't want it to be under it, over it. That's what those little lines are for. I'm going to put it right under it. And I can make a list. Um, say dogs, uh, people, and cake. Okay, I can highlight these things and format that differently again. Uh, so maybe I need that to be a little larger. Um, I'm going to change that to stand out a little more. Maybe I'll do dark red. And I can also, you know, do bulleted lists or numbered lists. And that works pretty well. All right. Um, so that's good. So let's just kind of go through some of these. So like image, for example. Let's say I needed another image in here. I'm going to put it right next to it over here. All right. Images are um, interesting. I, I, it's great that you can upload them from your computer, and I can show you that. I'm just going to go to my desktop and upload an image here. That'll work just fine. That looks good. Um, or, for example, I can also bring them in from online somewhere else. So, for example, let's say I'm online here, and I want a picture of a car. And let's just uh, grab some of these. Now, you'll notice if I go to View Image, you should always go to view image so it gives you the full size. It's got an end in .jpg, PNG, or GIF. Okay, so it looks like this one's going to work. So I'm just going to highlight that. Control C to copy. Come back here. Click on the image. I'm going to go to image URL and Control V to paste and hit insert. It's going to take a second because it's a larger image to begin with. So there it goes. All right, cool. Um, again, I can change this to lightbox on and I can link it. I can align it. I can even put the spacing. So maybe I don't want to have uh, much spacing around it, no border around it, basically. Um, and it also has advanced. Maybe I do want a border. <laughs> I could have a medium border on it or whatever I choose. Okay, so there are more advanced settings. So I'm going to click off that. Now, we actually want to see this in real life and kind of see what that light box thing does. And so at this time, I'm going to show you how to publish. I'm going to hit publish here. It's going to be called mrjohnsmith12.weebly.com. I'm going to hit continue because, again, that's the free option. It says your free site uh, will not be found in search engines such as Google, so you have to upgrade. So it's, it starts to try to sell you on certain things, and it's really worth it. I have a Weebly page that actually is uh, paid for, but uh, not for this demonstration. I'm going to go to the About page, and if I look, the light box, what that does is see it's got this nice little border. This one doesn't. If I click on the image, it goes to a nice full-size view. Again, this is actually a large image, so it might take a second. There we go. Um, and it looks really nice. Um, the other one, remember I had to go to chairs.com, so I just click on that and it goes right to that page. Um, these aren't linked or anything, but that's just fine too. Okay, cool. So let's go back to our Weebly, so I'm going to hit X right here. And let me show you how to do more. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff, I just don't need it. So you can just hit delete. Um, as you delete these things, the columns get wider, which is nice, kind of auto formats it for you. And let's say in here, um, I'm a teacher or something and I want to list some assignments or maybe documents that you might have want to have on your website. So there's a few different ways. So first let's do text. I, so I could say something like, um, you know, click here. Oops. Click here for a video. Okay. So let's say I want to have this go to a website. Um, well, one of my YouTube videos. And so I'm going to copy this link at the top here. Okay. I'm going to close that out. And on here, I could just highlight, click here for video. It's going to highlight that, or even just part of it. I can just highlight one part of the sentence and hit this little link button right here. Now, again, I can have it go somewhere else, email address file, but I'm going to have it go to YouTube and hit save. And you can see now it's a little bit different color. Now, that gray is kind of hard to see. Um, I don't really like that. So let me show you how to change some of those things, okay? So I could highlight it, or I could go over to theme, and I could change fonts. And so this gives me all the options. So right here, um, they have the site title. I can click on that, and I can change this. Right now it's on auto size. I can change the color, though. Maybe I actually want it to be more of a gray. I select that, and if I hit back, it saves that change. Don't really see it yet, though. Hopefully it comes soon. Um, and you'll notice as I hover over these things, it highlights them. So if I'm on the menu, navigation menu, little blue squares or rectangles show up. Paragraph titles, paragraph text, links. There it is. It's grayed out. I don't like that. 
Um, I want to be able to see a little bit better than that. So link color, um, I can have it a little bit different, but I don't want that gray. So maybe just down one. Or, you know, I could go old school and try to get the, uh, the old blue that you used to see on everything, which is a little obnoxious, but um, <laughs> we could do that. Either way, people notice it, and I could go back there. Okay, so pretty cool. So like right here is the paragraph titles. Again, maybe I want to change that to, to be something a little bit different. Um, I really do like their themes. They do look nice and slick, and we can show you how to change some of those as well. All right, great. So I'm done with that theme right there. Um, that's just to change the fonts. Maybe I want to change the entire theme. So I'm going to go to change theme here now, and it's going to give me all those other ones that we were looking at in the beginning. Um, let's try this one out. Or I can just hit preview, and it'll show me what it looks like. I can look at the about page. You know, this looks pretty good. I kind of like it. So let's let's choose it. All right, so it's automatically going to keep my content but load it a little differently, which is really nice. And uh, let me show you a few more features here. So a few more elements to put in here. So let's say instead of that, I wanted to do a button. So I can just go down here in a button, drag that in right there. And let's say um, I could say uh, you know, click here for PDF. Okay, and with this, I'm not going to highlight part of it and link it. Instead, it brings up all these other options. So the buttons, the button text, well, we already have that. Um, but button style, you could change it so it's a different color or the gray that we have. Um, it also allows you to position it. I'm going to do left line like it is and link it. So again, maybe I wanted to go to that YouTube site. I'm going to have it open up in a new window. Hit save. Doesn't look like it did anything, but if I do click on it, like if I click off and click back onto it, it does bring up these options and I can see it. Now, again, it's not going to work until I hit publish. Okay, publish, thank you. Go back to the actual site. Now, it looks like this, right? But you got to remember, you got to hit refresh, and it's going to show what it looks like now. So, great. Hit that little button text, and there it goes right, to that yeah. YouTube video. Or if I click here, also goes to that YouTube video. Um, or another thing I could do is, like I said, I could have it go to PDF, okay? So I'm gonna actually now um, link it to an actual file, and upload, and say, I'm just gonna upload this lesson here. Now it's PDF, again, publish it, and if I refresh on here, it's gonna say PDF, I click on it, and there, it downloads my PDF right into my browser, all right? So that works pretty well too. All right, um, a few other things I could show you is like they have dividers. Um, if you wanna vertically divide everything, again, it shows you where it splits, um, which is nice. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom there and maybe I wanna add in more text or a gallery or slideshow. So again, I could maybe do a title and I could put text right under it. So do I want text on the right of it, side of it? No, nope, I'm gonna put it under it instead on this one and then choose. Now, another thing that's kinda cool is maybe I'm gonna take this uh, chair picture and actually put it in here in the text. It'll actually create this like nice little box for you and just shift all the text over like that, which is pretty handy. Um, something, uh, something else people always request is how do you do videos, things like that. It's super simple. Now, if you wanna upload HD video, the problem with that is it's restrictions because that it's a, um, uh, it's, it's a paid service otherwise. Like if I drop, drag this in, and then it says here, upgrade now. Well, if I click that, you'll find out, well, you're gonna be paying some money for that. So is it worth it $140 for a year? I don't know, you gotta ask yourself that question. So I'm gonna cancel that out. Instead, I'll have YouTube host it. Drop it in there and just click on the video, YouTube URL, paste it in. And uh, again, I'm, I can control the, control the spacing uh, and maybe the size. Right now, I'm just gonna do medium, all right? And for this, maybe left align makes more sense. All right. And if I do that, it's going to also leave me some room for some text, maybe on the right side. All right, cool. Um, here's a video for you. <laughs> All right, this is kind of a hodgepodge now. Let's be honest. This isn't <laughs> really looking very good right now. But that's okay. Um, it's just a demonstration. All right, um, let's talk about some of these other things. Um, some of these end up being paid. Um, you know, the ones with the little stars by them and stuff, those are paid services, all right? They also now have a feature called apps, and these are basically, people can create apps for the website 
which is great, but they do cost money. Um, so you can explore those. I haven't seen any that I really like. Again, if you're a store, you're probably gonna find some things you like, um, but a lot of them aren't really that necessary. Just the, the elements, I think, for most people, it's gonna be where you wanna be. Um, let me show this. Also, you can hit mobile, and you can see what it would look like on a phone. So if you think your users are mostly gonna be on there, choose that. It's gonna be the way to go. But I'm gonna stay on desktop for now. Um, let's finish up the pages. What I want to explain here is to add a page. Right now we have these two pages here, three pages. I can hit plus and I can add another page. It's just another standard page. And I'll call this maybe uh, unit one and uh, hit save. Now there's nothing on there right now, but what I want to show you is let's say under about me, I want to actually, or about me, if you put it on this top level, like it's all left aligned, it ends up being a page. If you move it over one, it now is a sub page under about. So I see about, but I have to hold it, and there's unit one. Or if I were to create another page and hit save, I could put that with unit one. So now it's about with two sub pages, or test is under unit one, so it's indented in, and I could see unit one, and there's test. So it depends what you want exactly. It's up to you. How do you want to structure your page? Um, and that's pretty much it for pages. Um, if you just click on the page. I also give you those options. Do you want this landing page? Um, do you want to hide it in the navigation, which I use quite often, basically saying you don't want people to see it. If I check that out, it's only going to show the contact and about page, or maybe I want that to be always showing, and it does there. And the last thing I want to show you is the settings. Okay, so right now it's .weebly.com, right? I can change this. It's going to cost money, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, site title, um, this is what's going to show up at the top of all the pages. Um, so it's up to you how you want to change that. Favicon, you have to upgrade if you want to have your own little logo, especially um, SSL. If you want people to be able to search for your site, um, you're gonna have to pay for that as well. Uh, site password, again, advanced feature, and so on. Um, but let me show you, you can add editors. You can add other people to edit your site as contributors, which is really nice. Um, same thing with members. Um, and then apps and stores. Pretty much the general ones, the one, the one you're probably going to use quite often. Um, they have an unpublished site, which I won't do, so in case you do want to see this website, you can see it, but that's one way to basically take it off, uh, take it off so people can't see it. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think there's uh, any much anything else to show you. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, it's Tech Mind Blow on YouTube, and uh, thanks for watching.